Hello everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back. I am rolling on with the um, Wax Mound Mega Box from August. So straight into a um, what I got from L3 Waxy Wonders. So I think L3 seems to feature in just about every box I bring over. Like I just, I, I really love the way she does things, the way she takes requests. Um, she does regular ready to ships. She ships fast. She has a huge amount of oils like just about more oils than I've ever seen at a vendor so she has lots and lots of different combos um her wax is really well priced and really good value it's just it's just an all-round great package um so I find myself pl placing small but fairly frequent ready to ship um orders now this is two orders um I can't remember which was in which um one I think has been sitting at the forwarder for a while. I think I was just about at the expiry point when I shipped this over. I get 45 days before I have to ship. Um, the other one was a little bit more recent, but still. Um, so I'll start with the samples, and because it was two orders, I have two. I got two sample packets, so there's six samples in total. She does little packets um, of the samples. So the first one I have is not full, but that's actually okay with the scoops because. Um, I find that when she does these scoopable samples that one, if I use the whole shot, then that's more than what I would put in one melter of her scoop formula, but probably not an, quite enough for two. So this is actually probably a perfect amount for one warmer. Uh, Wildberry Chamomile, Berrylicious Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. She's been doing a lot of Boardwalk Mallow Clouds blend, blends lately. Now, I really enjoy her Wildberry. And this is just a very pretty berry scent. I do kind of get that chamomile note in there as well, um, but that's quite a nice take on Boardwalk Mellow Clouds, so that will be nice. I have White Sage. Wow, I don't know if that pour date is correct. I think she said she had some where they accidentally had like a really old pour date on them, so I don't think that was poured in 2015. Um, this is White Sage Sea Salt Light Blue type, and this isn't a scoop. I think it's a hard wet. Oh. Mm, no, it's scoopy. It just doesn't have scoop on the label. Uh, kind of light to me. Light, clean, and vaguely kind of oceanic, but not super strong. So we'll see. We shall see. Uh, another one, yeah, so some of these sample labels have got, um, uh, like the old school labels. Uh, Mellow Fireside Shea and Santal Cashmere Glow. I have to cross them out, it's going to like bug me. Alright, so this is pretty. To me, I think I'm getting a lot of that cashmere. It's a very smooth kind of cashmere scent, I guess because of the Shea and Santal. And a little bit of sweet smokiness from Mellow Fireside. So it's not bad. Probably not one I would buy myself, but it's okay. Uh, I have a Lego Tastic. I don't know what the notes are, but I believe it's like a fruity. I think I have looked at it before and it's like a fruity scent. Yeah, it's a very... It's like a candy or a... Like a jello or something. Like a tropical fruity jello, jelly. Jello. Jelly. That's definitely what that smells like. It's not bad. Again, maybe a little bit too candy-like for me, but it's okay. Uh, so Cotton Candy Craze Laundry Room. I feel like I saw some people raving about this. So, But I also don't necessarily love laundry scents. So. Uh, it's okay. That's everything. I'm like, oh, it's okay. It's definitely kind of equal parts of that sweet kind of cotton candy in the laundry. I think it'll be a nice one to mount in summer. Again, I'm not like super jazzed by it, like because I just don't love laundry scents. Like laundry, there's some laundry scents I enjoy, but it, it they have to be blended very sort of. I'm quite particular about it, if that makes sense. Uh, and then summer scoop invasion of the body snatches. Now, I actually no, have no idea what any of the notes are on that. I'm assuming Summer Scoop is some kind of ice cream scent. 
And I'm getting quite a sweet ice cream, like sort of vanilla ice cream vibe. With a touch of something fruity, but I'm not sure what. This is kind of a sweet, yeah, sweet kind of ice creamy scent. So I'd have to check the notes on that. So that's the samples. Now I will talk about the scoops. So I got four scoops. Uh, so pink frosted animal cookies. So I've had her pear frosted animal cookies in a blend before with sugar cookie dough and mallow fluff. And I really enjoyed it. So I figured I'd try the just the solo pink frosted animal cookies. And this is where I've got to be really careful because I almost purchased this scent this weekend. Not having completely forgotten that I already ordered it and had it at the forwarder. So I do that a lot. And when I get to my super tarts, because I, that's like seven different orders that got combined into one forwarder box. There are so many times where I bought the same scent like two or three times because I had no idea I'd already ordered. Like I ordered it on the pre-order and then I ordered it on the ready to ship. So I'm honestly, I smelled this before. I'm smelling this again. I'm not getting much off it. I'm going to see if I can pop it out. I've been able to pop some scoops out of the container lately and I find that helps, but this one maybe not so much. Some of them really vacuum in on the sides and others of them just like have a little bit of air and then you can kind of roll them about and pop them out. Um, but not this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not getting anything off it. Or a very faint kind of sweet cookie scent. So hopefully, I'll, I'll let this one cure a bit and hopefully it melts up okay. But I'm really, yeah, I'm not smelling anything off that. Um, blackberry sweet cream tiramisu coffee house. It is possible because I've smelt a lot of wax today that maybe my nose is a bit burnt out. That does happen. Um, but I'm smelling all of the other things. So yeah, it's hard to say. So blackberry sweet cream tiramisu coffee house. So this one's nice. I don't know how, I think coffee house is maybe one that I'm not, not my favorite coffee scent. Cause I feel like I've had it in a couple of blends now. It's got like a creaminess to it that doesn't really work for me but that said see this scoop I was able to pop out I don't know why but I really get it's kind of satisfying to me popping out a whole scoop and you do get a better you do like you do if you take out a clamshell you do get a better kind of uh a uh, sense of what it smells like if you can you know smell the guts of it versus um just the top so if I could get that pink frosted cookies out I'd probably get a better sense of how it smells so yeah, I wish the blackberry was a little bit stronger in this. This is quite strong in that tiramisu and coffee house. So I'm hoping the blackberry pops a bit more. If it doesn't, this might not be a scent for me because I think the reason I got it was normally I'd find sort of tiramisu because I don't actually love the smell of tiramisu on its own. Um, so I would yeah normally have avoided that, but I saw the blackberry on it and I went, oh, that could be good. I'm just going to try one more time. Just bear with me. Nope, thought I could. Couldn't do it. Wanted to try and pop it out. Didn't work. Um, so Pinkberry Tonka Bean, Boardwalk Mellow Clouds, Sandalwood, Shea Shant Santal. It's a lot of notes. Um, so I heard a lot of good things about these Boardwalk Mellow Clouds and um, Pinkberry Tonka Bean combos that she's done. I think she's done a couple of different variations on that. Uh, so I thought I'd give this one a go. So I'm just, this one's almost popped out. So I thought I'd try it. And this is very pretty. I do like it. Um, you know, it's re it's just a really nice, pretty, sweet kind of, um, yeah, a very pretty sweet scent. Um, and there we go. I popped it out. Ah, love doing that. And yeah, I get a much better sense of the scent by doing that. So yeah, it's just a really pretty, sweet kind of berry, quite girly. Um, you know, sandalwood shade Santal, even though they would kind of, it's a woodsy s kind of scent description. To me, it's a very clean light wood. So no, I think that's going to be really nice for spring. That smells very, very pretty. Uh, the last scoop is, uh, Lord of Misrule Peeps and Pipe Smoke, which was, I don't know, this one, I just, I just kept seeing it up there and I just went, that sounds interesting. So I figured I'd just give it a go because I do like her Lord of Misrule 
blends and no that one's not going to pop out some of them are really are, you can tell they're just really super stuck to the sides other ones um you can kind of see they just get a little bit of air in the side and you can kind of use that air to leverage it out but this is a really good scent because i love the way sort of pipe smoke pipe smoke to me is a sort of sweet smoky scent and it goes really well because lord of misrule is a sweet um peppery scent and the peeps is not super obvious, but it's just a little bit of extra sweetness. So it just plays up that sweet Lord of Misrule. So yeah, very pretty sweet and smoky. I really like that. Okay, and then the last two things are two loaves. So the first one is a hybrid loaf. Uh, in Blood is the New Black and Wonka Vision. So this would not normally be something I would get because of the pretzel note. I don't like pretzels. Um, but I heard in particular Kim Hart's organising... Um, and a couple of other people talking about how amazing it is and that the pretzel note was not really noticeable. Um, and I went, all right, I, I feel like I really need to give this a go. I do wish I'd gotten it in a, like, not a, a hybrid loaf because the hybrid loaf, it's actually two, I mean, you could almost just get the two different scents poured in two different shapes and mix them yourself because the top layer is one thing, the bottom layer, so one layer will be the uh, Blood is the New Black and one layer will be the Wonka Vision. I'm not sure which is which. Um, so yeah, it'll. I won't really get the full mixed experience of the scent until I put it in the warmer. So the first thing I will say is I can smell the pretzel, but thankfully it's not too strong. I don't think that's going to kind of ruin it for me, thankfully. It is just, it is a very nice bakery scent. I can see why people do like it. You know, I get quite a bit of that sweetness. I think the, I think the blackberry jam butter cookies is on top. Or maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Yeah, no, the pretzel, the um, Wonka Vision scent, I think, is on the bottom. I actually don't know which one's which. Anyway, the pretzel scent is on the bottom. So yeah, I, I can smell pretzel, and I don't. I really don't like pretzel. Um, it still, it does smell like it's going to be a nice mixed bakery scent. I'm hoping though that the pretzel maybe doesn't come through as obviously, but we'll see. And the last loaf um, is saltwater princess boardwalk mellow clouds. So take this out of the tray. Normally they come out of the tray easy, but that one did not want to. So I can't remember what the notes are on um, Saltwater Princess. But this is really pretty. I feel like the Boardwalk Milo Clouds is the heaviest part of this. Um, it's really hard for me to say what the Saltwater Princess is. I know it's there. But this actually honestly just smells like a really amped up, stronger version of Boardwalk Milo Clouds. Maybe with a bit of, a little bit of salty sea air or maybe even suntan lotion or something. I don't know. Like I'm not getting any over, over, overtly fruity or salt water kind of vibes like I would have expected. But it smells really nice. So that's... um. I'm going to enjoy that, but I've got to look up what the notes out of Saltwater Princess. It doesn't smell like what I would... For some reason, I was thinking it was going to be different, but I, I like it. I do like it. It's going to be really nice, sort of clean, uh, you know, clean, pretty scent. So that's everything that I got from L3 Waxy Wonders. So um, I'm going to get this stuff put away, and then I'll duck into... Um, I might knock off at a Savannah Blue, because I've only got a little bit of Savannah Blue there, and then I might call it a day for a little while. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.